Hello again, everyone. This is Jordan from Robotis Inc. In the past two episodes, we've covered an immense amount of information regarding the beginner level of the Robotis Premium Kit. With the smart car that we built, we were able to not only know the mechanics of how he is constructed, but also how to program him and modify him for different kinds of applications. In this episode, I'll be going over a brief overview of the intermediate level of this kit with this guy right here called the Gerwalk. Some may recognize him from an old anime show called Robotech. As you can see here, he mo he automatically moves with uh, two with two kinds of sensors: two IR or infrared, and one distance measuring sensor. In this video, I'll be showing you how to program him and also how to modify his pro how to modify his programming by using another tool called R Plus Motion. R Plus Motion is our company's 3D choreographing tool you to create movements for him as well as any other kind of robot that you come up with. Instead of coming up with different kinds of motion by in the task, you could just simply arrange the motors in motion, save it as a file and call it in the task code. So I'll be showing you that. If you have him already constructed and downloaded R Plus Motion 2.0 from the description below. Let's get started on going over the interface of that program. All right, everyone. So this is R Plus Motion. This is our 3D choreographing tool that I mentioned earlier. What we want to go and do first is make sure that the controller is on and set to manage mode, which is the green LED uh, on the controller. Uh, so could, let's connect it by clicking here and if you already know what port it is just simply select it or you can press uh, auto connect and it will look for the controller you hear the beep and the controller is recognized so let's go to Robotus Premium scroll down just a little bit down to Gerwalk. Select it and press OK. There's going to come up a template or example file. Uh, we don't want to ha start from scratch, so let's just select Gerwalk and press OK. Now, what is a great feature about this program is if you connect to the robot, uh, before you open the file, it will actually show on the software uh, what kind of position the robot is currently in. If you see now, he is actually in a crouching position, uh, in uh, or at, at least in the physical form, he is in crouching position, so the software imitated it. Uh, I, I'll go over a mimicking mode or the mimic mode uh, or the sync mode a little later but as of right now I'm just going to show you the basics if you want more details about this software I, we have a tutorial series that you can review on our on our YouTube channel which I will put in the description below but for right now we just want to download the uh, example motion group. The motion group is a set of motions or movements that we have already s uh, given to you all to use. So let's download the motion group to the robot and it's finished. So what we want to do now is download the task program or the example task program that we have in R plus task. But before we do that, we need to disconnect the robot from R plus motion or else R plus task will not recognize and connect to the robot. So let's disconnect and close out the program. This is R plus task again. We want to just simply select the premium kit click intermediate and open up the Gerwalk example. Press OK. 
And here's the GERWALK example code that we have already made for you. So what we want to do is make sure that you select the correct COM port, which mine is COM port 3. I press OK, and let's download the code. Now, you want to make certain that uh, you have both the motion and task file downloaded to the controller because without the motion files, the task code does not have anything to call to. If you scroll all the way down a little bit, t starting at line 143, you see that there's a motion index number. This is the motion file that we downloaded from the motion group is talking to. So it talks to motion file or motion index number number two and, uh, and number seven and so on and so forth. So we want to make certain that for the example programs and also any other programs that we are going to be doing for the intermediate and advanced or any other kind of robot have both the motion and task files downloaded. So since we have them both done let's try it out. Now that we have downloaded both the task and motion files for the GERWALK let's test out our build by going to the self-check mode. Let's turn it on first Make sure that the red LED is on. Press start, but immediately hold the D button. Now that it is in self-test mode, we are going through the actuators one by one, starting with ID number one. So press U to go to ID two. Again, for ID 3 and going on and as you see he is actually extending himself or having all his dynamixels go to 12 o'clock mode so the tick and so the tick mark on each dynamixel is going to 12 o'clock so now he is in an L shape as you can see here now let's test out our sensors. Press the R button. Now we are in sensor mode. All you have to do is put your hand near one sensor so it tests it, so it's okay. It detected it. Put your hand on the other side. Test okay. Put your hand in front of it. He sort of goes back, but he's okay. If it does not do any of these things, you may want to check the wiring of the Dynamixels and also the sensors. But since it's all right, let's just simply reset it again. Put him into the kneel position. Turn him on again. And just press start. He should extend up or hold, make sure that he's okay. And he should start walking, fine. Put your hand in front and he should turn to the left. So let's go and put your hand in front uh, in, in, on the side of him. He turns fine. So he's good. Now that you've learned how to download both the task and motion files to the GERWALK, now I'll be showing you how to make him remote controlled and teach him how to kick a soccer ball using R plus motion. To help you out, I provided a link for both t the task and motion files for this action in the description below. Please download and try them out later after the instructions are made of how the, how the codes work. Let's dive in. What you just simply need to do now is download the task or the motion file called Premium Gerwalk Demo. It will have underscores in, uh, uh, in between the words. And what this motion file has are pretty much the same as the default. Uh, it has all the 
walking of uh, 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 movements and everything else but it ha adds two more here it adds the kick and a crouching feature so if we go into uh, 29 load it press play actually shows him actually kicking something and you go into crouching he actually just simply goes into crouch mode so uh, what we want to do is actually with with this code make him uh, no longer autonomous but remote controlled through the same remote controller that we used with the smart car which is the RC100 controller and the Zigbee con and the Zigbee uh, modules that come in the kit so let's download the motion file oh first you need to connect it so make sure your controller is in uh, manage mode which is the green LED make sure you connect to the uh, controller well it takes a few s seconds every once in a while and let's download it takes a little bit again and let's disconnect it so that we can go to the task file and download it. So now that we have opened up the Premium Gerwalk Demo RC program or the task program that we will need to download, uh, I'm going to go through very briefly what this program does. So when you first turn it on and uh, press start in the play mode, it's going to go into an initial that initial position uh, based in the motion file, uh, which is called here. Uh, what it's going to do then is wait for two claps. When the two claps are recognized, then it's going to start receiving information from the remote controller. And it's just going to stay in its ready position until either the up, down, left, or right button on the controller is recognized. And it's going to go into the subroutines here. But if you see, we have a number one button recognized. So if you push that button, it actually uh, goes into a ready mode, then a kick. So we're going to go a little bit further down. Uh, Remember that motion that I showed you in our, in the R plus motion program of when you press uh, or, or when he kicks, uh, this is actually what this is calling. So when you push number one, it goes to the subroutine, calls the motion file, and uh, activates it. Uh, then it waits for the motion again or waits for another motion. Let's go ahead and download this program and try it out. So now that we have downloaded both the task and motion file for this new modified Gerwalk, let's test him out. Let's turn on the controller, make sure that it's on play mode, which is the red LED. Press start goes into its initial position. Let's turn on the controller by holding down the middle button. Now it's connected. But if you press forward, it won't do anything. The reason why, as we had in our code, is it's waiting for two claps or two snaps. Now, now you can go forward. Now you can go backward. He's a little jumpy, so you would may need to modify his motion programming, but he's overall working just fine for this test purpose. Let's have him go right. Oh, let's have him go left. Now let's have him do the ultimate test, which is have him kick by pushing number one.
Congratulations, you just made a new modified Gerwalk that is able to be remote controlled and have him kick. For different surfaces, he acts different ways. If you have him kick on maybe your rug, he may actually fall off or fall onto a side. So you would need to adjust his codes or his motion files for the surface that you will be using him on. In this episode, we were able to cover the majority of the intermediate level of the Robotis Premium Kit. We were introduced the Gerwalk robot example by showing off its autonomous motion of walking using the two types of sensors that come in the Robotis Premium Kit, as well as showed how the R plus motion tool is useful for creating different kinds of motion such as kicking a soccer ball. We were even able to cause this robot or program this robot to become remote controlled using the RC100 similar to the smart car in the last episode. In the next episode we will be advancing to the third and last level of the Robotis Premium Kit with the humanoid type A build. Until then, have fun, stay creative, and see you in the next episode.